guys welcome back to the channel on wednesday president putin made a big change to russia's nuclear doctrine when and how it uses nuclear weapons how that is going to affect the Caribbean, I'm going to break it down for you in this video. President Vladimir Putin has warned the West that Russia could use nuclear weapons if it was struck with conventional missiles. The Russian leader presented changes to Russia's nuclear doctrine at a meeting, at a meeting of the country's Security Council. Now, Putin said a nuclear power supporting an attack on Russia would now be considered a joint aggressor. The change in doctrine comes after Putin's warnings to the U.S. and other NATO allies that allowing Ukraine to use Western long-range weapons to hit Russian territory would mean that Russia and NATO are at war. President Putin warned the West on Wednesday that Russia could use nuclear weapons if it was struck with conventional missiles and that Moscow would consider any assault on it supported by a nuclear power to be a joint attack. Remember, the U.K. and the U.S wants to give conventional weapons to Ukraine to strike deep within Russia. That would trigger a war between Russia and NATO. And yes, the Caribbean would be embroiled in that. How is it going to be? Well, let's break it down for you. We're going to explore now for you what's going to be taking place in terms of the environment, the economy, along with survival strategies. Now, the Caribbean could be seen as a strategic location in the nuclear conflict. And potential targets could include military bases, which remain in the region, key infrastructure like ports and airports, and major cities with significant population. These places could become targets. Impact of proximity to the United States, because we're being close to the U.S., means that the Caribbean is at risk of being caught in the crossfire. Geopolitical tensions, which could escalate quickly, especially if Russia decides to send nuclear armed submarines to the region. Remember, earlier this year, we saw nuclear subs in Cuba. So this is not anything new. And they will use it, of course, to defend their territory. Now, this could lead to increased military presence in the Caribbean, heightened security alerts, and potential for accidental strikes could occur. Don't forget that we had historical context in these things. I'm not sure if you remember past events like the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Grenada invasion, we also had Panama, and we have ongoing tensions in Venezuela. So the Caribbean must prepare for the possibility that nuclear war becomes a reality. If you understand these immediate threats, and how crucial it is for the region's safety, you're gonna to have to prepare as well. We don't have nuclear bunkers in the Caribbean, so where would you run and hide? Someone said last week that we have caves in places like Belize. Well, everybody can't head to Belize. So what is your government doing? These are times where you should concern yourself with international affairs. There's also health concerns. Nuclear fallout can lead to serious health issues for those exposed. You're talking about radiation can cause cancer long-term health problems, their skin burns, their hair loss, so many other things. And the environment can suffer greatly from nuclear fallout because we're going to have contaminated soil and water it can last for years and it affect your agriculture production, your drinking supplies, all this and more. Now check out this video and it will explain to you how life in the Caribbean could be affected. The horror of radioactive fallout lies in its ability to spread radiation over a wide area, affecting people, animals, and the environment. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause acute radiation sickness, which can lead to symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fatigue. In severe cases, radiation sickness can be fatal. 27 million more people will die. There's going to be impact on a marine and our coastal ecosystems, which means the Caribbean's beautiful marine life could be at risk. All right. We're going to have death of marine species, disruption of coral reefs and contamination of fish population. And a nuclear conflict could severely disrupt the Caribbean's economy, especially its tourism. There'll be travel bans from foreign governments, increased insurance costs for travel and accommodation and loss of jobs in tourism related industries. In totality, what I'm saying to you is that the economic consequences of a nuclear conflict in the world, which would hamper the Caribbean, would be devastating. A 
affecting tourism, reconstruction efforts, long-term stability, and the region must prepare for these challenges. Because, as they would say in Russia, this is not a bluff. Now that you're armed with this information, go make preparations. Until next time, guys, take it easy.